Hey everybody, welcome back to Whiskey Central. My name is Shayla, and today I'm making a summer cocktail and a hot toddy with Jack Daniels honey. All right guys, so we're gonna start off with the summer cocktail. I'm just gonna add ice to a couple of glasses. We're making a sweet version of this drink and then a less sweet version, so whatever your preference is. Apparently it takes forever to get ice. All right, then we're gonna take our Jack Daniels honey and then the recipe calls for about an ounce, but I just pour it in, whatever. About an ounce in each glass. Don't know if that's anywhere close to an ounce, but we're going with it. All right, so then we've got our limes. I'm gonna put about half of a lime per drink, maybe a quarter of a lime. I like lime, so I'm just speeding this up a little bit for you guys so you don't have to see me squeeze limes for like a minute and a half. Getting our lime into our second drink. These limes are super dry, so kind of hard to get juice out of them. All right, there we go. Now we can add the Peña Fiel. Nope. This is not like an ADHD whiskey thing where this is a, a pull, not a twist. What the hell? It sounded really good. What the hell? This is literally the hardest cork I've ever pulled out of a bottle. Why is it in there so good? It's a screw top. I, if that's true, I swear to God. Wow. This is just too hard. Ouch, this is hurting my hand. All right, we're just gonna take this off camera for just a second, get it opened up. Okay, we got it opened up. <laughs> so now we're just gonna fill the glass with the Pena Fiel or sparkling water, whatever brand you guys have, Perrier or whatever. All right, that should do it. Okay, and then I took the cap off, off camera for that one. But yeah, then just pour in the ginger ale and those are your two easy summer cocktails. I'm gonna take a drink of each one. So the Schweppes one, the ginger ale one is pretty sweet. Um, it's not my jam. Uh, that was what the recipe called for. And I actually just threw in the sparkling water one as an option. I like the sparkling water one better. So then after I, after I drank both, I actually decided to put the sparkling water in with the ginger ale drink. It just kind of cuts that sweetness a little bit. The lime uh, acid cuts it a little bit, but not enough in my opinion. So um, I like mixing it, but you can you can do it whichever way you want. There's the Jack Daniels. So yeah, I, I tried Jack Daniels honey and I didn't like it at all. We're just gonna pour like an ounce in there. Yeah, I didn't like it at all, and I thought, maybe I can make some cocktails with this. So, and then I'm gonna put, I'm just gonna put one cinnamon stick. You can put two, but I think it gets a little overpowering sometimes. All right, and then I'm gonna try to cut this lemon. My knife's not sharp, so I gotta, you know, poke it in, poke it in there. And I'm just ruining my shot. Okay, great, cut the lemon, awesome. Off camera, gonna get the seeds out of it. Okay, so just getting the seeds out of that mofo. All right, then we're gonna squeeze, I would say about a quarter, a quarter of a lemon. Like not this much. I did half and it was a little too lemony. I like lemon, but it was a little too much. And then pour in some boiling hot water from your Hydro Flask. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag Hydro Flask hit me up. All right, and then you're good. That's all you need to do, pretty easy. You could also do the same thing, but with uh, Jack Daniels Old Number 7 and some honey or whatever your preferred whiskey is, but it was pretty good. I'm just gonna take a little sip of it here. See how I like it. Ooh, that's fucking lemony. Jeez Louise, okay. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more Jack Daniels honey. That's what's nice about this recipe. It says an ounce, but you can add a little bit more. It's only 35% alcohol, so. If you want a little bit more sweetness, put some more in there. 